Get your King of the Monsters figures at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description. Kaiju, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, collectors. It's Steven here, and I'm bringing you yet another Godzilla King of the Monsters review. Today, we're going to be rounding out the core SH Monster Arts group with a release of the SH Monster Arts Mothra and Rodan 2019. That's right. This is a web-exclusive set that the fine folks at Bluefin were able to bring over, and fans have really been clamoring for this one. On why we get Mothra and we get Rodan in one nice package here and uh, whoa wait a minute what uh what's the price tag on that again MSRP is about 105 bucks that what in and, and the NECA's are how much Ooh, yeah definitely with a price tag like this there are gonna be some folks who really want to know if these two are worth it and unfortunately only half of the set is worth maybe half of the price to die hard collectors <laughs> let's take a look to see maybe maybe one of these guys is worth adding in your collection i will go ahead and start off on the low note so this way we can move up to a high one and soar off through the rest of the review moth right here kind of looks like garbage yeah, I hate to put it so bluntly like that, but Mothra really does. This definitely feels like an absolutely low effort product here on Bandai's part, and they really did not even attempt at making something that could shine on the shelf. Mothra does have a very orange coloration to her. It looks like they really bumped up the contrast and left it there in the paint department. I'm not quite sure where they got the paint scheme for the main body to be as orange as it is, but realistically speaking, it completely hides all of the details which can be found in the sculpt. If you're looking up close and personal though, you are really going to find those nicer details in the sculpt, along with some paint imperfections like different bubbles, and it looks like there's some paint streaking. Not to make mention, as I'll show you in the articulation section, there are some folks who had issues with joints being stuck with paint, myself included. The only real thing they did well here would be the wings for Mothra, even though they're not necessarily accurate. Not going to dock them points for that, because we're going to be talking about the final product here. The wings do look good, despite the fact they are a little on the smaller side compared to some of the gargantuan things that we've seen on the market so far, like the D for real and on the NECA. So yes, this one is small. We'll take a look at that in the size comparison section, actually. But overall, the Monster Arts Mothra does not look that great, and it is absolutely not that accurate. Ben, I did not do a $50 or anywhere near $50 job on this figure. Rodan, however, looks amazing, despite the fact that the paint job is not accurate and why it's not accurate for the price point, I don't know. Rodan is absolutely missing the molten tips to his wings there at the edge there. And uh, yeah, they didn't do that. And there's no reason that they didn't, aside from the fact that they chose not to. They absolutely could have updated the prototype to include this, but they didn't because they didn't. Yeah. But that there's no reason aside from the fact that they didn't, and that holds us back. Otherwise, in regards to sculpt, this Rodan looks absolutely amazing, and the actual paint detailing that there is on this figure is great. When we talk about articulation in a minute, there is one issue that my Rodan in particular had. I have not seen other reports of this happening to Rodans, but uh, yeah. Uh, there is actually one report that I have seen on a few folks. Uh, and that is uh, misaligned eyes. Yeah, it seems like for some folks, for whatever reason, the pupil is going up in the eyebrow while the actual rest of the eye is painted on orange. But other than that, no real quality control issues. Rodan is a nice, deep maroon color with some black wash and dry brushing to be found here and there to really make it look almost like magma in some spots. And then we are going to have some finer details like his black fingertips, which look really good. If you are a fan of really well-detailed figures, then this Rodan is going to make your day. Rodan, I just can't say it enough, looks great. Almost as good as Godzilla 2019. Yeah, Rodan is definitely the heavy hitter here of the set, and it looks accurate as well, which is very good to say, considering there are folks who will jump down your throat if you say the wrong thing in regards to accuracy. All right, let's move on to articulation and 
accessory since this will be relatively easy to do for both of these figures at the same time. So we'll start with the disappointment here. We have Mothra. What do we have for articulation? Well, for the arms, we do have the two front arms here, the big ones. They're on ball joints. And then we have the two sub arms, mini arms. They're on ball joints as well. We got the legs. They're on ball joints. And a word to the wise, you may have stuck joints, right? So this leg was stuck on mine. Now, someone in my Discord had just said, oh, just wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, and it'll pop off. No. What I did is I gripped it real close to the base, and I just kind of wiggled it and moved it around, and that broke the paint, and it was able to pop it off. And you're good to go. So yes, all of the arms move, both legs move. You can kind of see the ripped paint there as well. Uh, you're just going to have to be careful with it to get those legs to move. Now for the wings, they are ball jointed. The four wings move like this. The hind wings move like so. So one thing that I like to do is kind of get Mothra to uh, look like this. I think that's kind of intimidating, kind of fun. Oh, yeah. And there's a ball-jointed abdomen. Woo. All right, for accessories, um, pretty straightforward. Mothra has this support stand, which just comes with a normal Tamashi Stage Act 4 or Humanoid support base. Um, you can use this little clip to either go on the back, or as I like to do it, just because I think it looks nicer. Uh, clip on the front, like so. Okay. And there you go. You are good to go. Now, here's an issue. Mothra is made of a softer plastic. And if you take a look at the instructions, let's um, do this together, kids. So I've got my phone here with Google Translate. So this way no one can accuse me of doing something I shouldn't be doing. We'll go to scan. Okay. So I'm highlighting everything. Okay, so what does this say? Please balance and display. Please note that if you display for a long time, the wings may fall and lose your balance. When displaying for a long time, support the wings with Soul Stage Act 4, Tamashi Stage Act 4, sold separately. If the parts come off, reattach them to their original condition. So what they're saying is, is if you display Mothra, for too long without support Mothra's wings will droop good stuff so yeah Mothra's articulation is when well, they did as best as they could uh, the wings definitely could have been done better um, and for accessories it kind of sucks now Rodan's turn, and Rodan does fare a bit better. What do we have? Well, the mouth opens and closes on a hinge. Not that far, unfortunately. I really do think they could have done a better job with that, but eh, it's okay. The head plugs in on a ball joint to the neck, so we can move it around like so. And then there's a nice ball joint system, so this way we can get Rodan to look down about that far, which is 
straight ahead, I guess, and then look up about that far, which is also straight ahead, I guess, depending on how you look at things. Rodan can look left and right, no problem, twist and turn his head around, yeah. So Rodan's going to be able to look in all sorts of directions, so that is good to see. We don't need to swap out any parts for him to look in any directions or twist any joints around, that's great to see. So for the wings, they did an interesting thing here. There is a ball joint where it plugs into the body, and then a ball joint where it plugs into here. Here being this first sculpt portion you're seeing, so this way you can get Rodan's wings to move at the base there. Then the wings actually plug into this sculpt part, so this way we get even more movement. Woo, that's fun. Now, just a quick word of caution. This wing was actually stuck with paint uh, when I got this day one, and I needed to take um, some dish soap per my old fashioned dish soap method. And I needed to take a paper clip and scrape out all of the dried up paint in there that gucked it all up. And now it's kind of a little loose, so I need to do a little bit of fixing there, but for the most part, yeah, there we go. It works just fine. So yes, it was super tight, almost like it was going to break. Now we... I'm content with how loose it is. So we do have a ball jointed ab crunch. And a waist joint. So Rodan can do some moves. Ooh, I'll get to that in a second. Ball jointed hips. And <laughs> knees and ankles and a ball joint to tail as you saw so Rodan can be put in a plethora of fun poses now real quick about Rodan uh, the main body here is made of a rather soft plastic while the wings are made of a hard plastic so you don't want to drop Rodan because if you drop Rodan you're probably going to break the wings or whatnot. But keep in mind that his main body, specifically from here down, is made of a softer plastic, so parts may fall off. Okay? Okay. Now let's go ahead and move on over to accessories, which Rodan does get good stuff. So first and foremost, there are only two bases and two support arms included in the set in total, but Rodan gets two flight attachments. So first, he gets one cradle specifically meant for him which plugs into the tip of the stand and that cradle is pretty cool because it's specifically sculpted to hold Rodan but it also is on a ball joint so this way we can twist and turn and bob it all around and the way that it works is you take the long end there and you just do that and you're good to go and honestly I find this to be rather sturdy like, that's pretty nice. So you can get Rodan in all sorts of poses. Obviously a flight pose. And for those who like living on the edge, you can do that. So like I said, you only get two arms and two bases in this set. I just did this for convenience. You do also get the standard claw. So this was the arm and base I just used for Mothra. So if you wanted to grip that around his waist there and have him float on your shelf like this, you can do that instead. Very convenient. So for articulation and accessories, Rodan definitely gets the much better end of the stick here. But overall, for accessories, Bandai definitely could have done more. There could have been a Mothra larva. There could have been a mountaintop base for Rodan. Uh, they could have added in additional wings for Rodan. They could have added in additional wings for Mothra. They could have added in a cocoon for Mothra. They could have added in uh, a, an egg hatching thing for Mothra. They could, have, they could have added in a whole bunch more for the price point, but they opted to not. Why? Uh... I don't know, but we'll just leave it at that. If you need help with more support stands or accessories, you know I have videos for you. If you're watching this on YouTube, should be cards popping up. If not, uh, there should be bit.ly's popping up there as well. You can plop those into your web browser. 
Now we're going to go ahead and move right along over to size comparison where you can see how big Rodan and Mothra are with each other alongside some other kaiju figures you might have or maybe you collect other things than kaiju because guess what there are folks who do that maybe you want to see them alongside goku got that for you and we'll round out the size comparison with a look with the whole cast and crew of the king of the monsters and sh monster arts format so buy now skip or wait for a deal this set is absolutely not worth 105 dollars at us msrp or thereabouts mothra is nowhere near worth 50 dollars, and rodan i would say is worth 50 or so if you are a big rodan fan and you have gotta have this one yeah yeah, Bandai really did drop the ball here. This set is unfortunately the only way you're going to get both Rodan and Mothra. They're not sold individually, they're not sold separately, so if you want one, you're gonna have to get the other unless you buddy up with someone who only wants one and not the other, so good luck with that. Overall, though, I do have to say it is nice to say that we are rounding out the set for King of the Monsters and we're moving on to bigger and better things. Yep, I have to say that I'm glad that I got Rodan, but... This set is ultimately not worth the money, and I'm very, very disappointed in Bandai for dropping the ball here. But again, Rodan is good. It's just not accurate. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now that you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you, so if you want to watch another SDR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.